Assalamualaikum and hi guys. My name is Muhammad Nabil Fikri. I'm from 1MAV. So today I would like to share with you about eVTOL aircraft, the future of urban air mobility. To start, I would like to share with you the background of eVTOL aircraft. So as we know, uh, eVTOL aircraft is the new innovative technology. So the origins of eVTOL aircraft is from 1960s, which is the M200X Skycar. That is prototype of a flying saucer hovercraft that is designed by aeronautics engineer Paul Moller. And the ideology or the concept of eVTOL aircraft uh, is emerged in 2009 uh, from NASA video. So the operational characteristic of eVTOL aircraft are it can be powered by batteries, it, it is able to take off and land vertically, it can hover and fly just like helicopters, it is designed to carry two to six passengers including the pilot, and it is for short distance urban transportation. So the average distance for eVTOL aircraft is between 80 km until 155 km. So there are some company that involved in eVTOL aircraft project such as Ihang, Beta Technologies, Airbus, Boeing, Joby Aviation, Archer and many more. Next, we're going to talk about the future of eVTOL aircraft. As we know, eVTOL aircraft is giving us a promising future. What is the promising future is the first one is shift in urban transportation. So within the city transportation, we will have new mode of transport which is eVTOL or air taxis. Accelerating investment. For now, the investment in eVTOL aircraft or urban air mobility is growing rapidly. Many personnel has interest in potential for short routes, electric systems, and also eco-friendly solutions. For the third one, I think uh, the eVTOL will provide us with a swift and sustainable transportation because eVTOL offers fast and eco-friendly travel in cities that will meet the demand for efficient urban mobility. We're going to proceed with advantages of eVTOL aircraft. The first one is reduced noise. Uh, eVTOL aircraft are more quieter than the helicopter because they're using wingborne leaf during forward flight. The second one is enhanced safety. As we know, eVTOLs are designed with multiple rotors and also multiple batteries. So these components can act as their spare or standby equipment. The third one is ease of operations. eVTOL are user-friendly thanks to the computerized flight control system that is similar to drone or fly-by-wire system. The fourth one is milestone in transportation. For 2024, there will be many upcoming launch of urban air mobility flights. For an example, last January, Airbus just posted that their city Airbus Next Gen prototype has just made their debut. The fifth one is green technology, which help to reduce aviation environmental impact by lowering the carbon emission and promoting sustainability. Last but not least is reduced traffic, which is eVTOL offers quick and convenient transportation that will help in reducing the congestion. Next is challenges of eVTOL aircraft. I think for now we have four main challenges. For regulatory frameworks, I think the challenge now is how to develop and implement the clear rules of eVTOLs in urban airspace to prevent conflicts and also ensure safety. The safety standards is talking about establishing strict safety rules of eVTOL operations to build trust and ensure safety for passengers and also public. Regarding the infrastructure, I think the building and also adapting the infrastructure like landing pads, charging station and support facilities for eVTOLs in cities. And for public acceptance, uh, it's about addressing public concerns and integrating eVTOL smoothly into urban life considering the factors like privacy, safety, affordability and also accessibility. For the final part, is talking about the finance of eVTOL aircraft technology, which mentioned about the markets and also investment. So as stated in the SNS Insider report, eVTOL aircraft market was valued at USD 0.87 billion in 2022, and it is anticipated to grow to USD 22.71 billion by 2030. For the investment part, uh, there are various sources that have boosted eVTOL market which to speeding up the innovation and also the growth of eVTOL aircraft. Regarding the finance part on recent updates for eVTOL company, uh, Archer which is the leader of eVTOL technology company has just received 65 million funding boost that is focusing on build their own production plan which will be the world largest and use advanced manufacturing tools. Last but not least, SkyDrive has just made a big deal with Solu company. So Solu company is a top aircraft leasing company in South Korea 
Solu has ordered up to 50 advanced eVTOL aircraft from SkyDrive. So this shows that the aviation industry sees the potential in eVTOL vehicle.